Welcome back guys. I'm so glad that you're enjoying these series of little tidbits on how you can help your business grow and I'm really happy that um, you're getting a lot out of this. So I'm going to be offering you the 90 day plan. So what's a 90 day plan? Well, that is the same 90 day plan that we give the students that go through the uh, six figure coaching business program and also the uh, infidelity recovery program certification program and we're going to offer you the work booklet to that so you guys that have had the chance to look at last week's video and and prepare a, a little funnel you've got a chance to actually now put that into a 90 day plan and start getting some leverage start getting some momentum with these ideas that you have and and really start getting your coaching business moving into a new level so it doesn't matter what business business coaching business you have you know you can have anything from a business coaching model to a, um, a life coaching business you know everything from a therapeutic business down to a relationship coaching business because I know um, our infidelity recovery coaches are doing fantastic with this business model so um, uh, I really hope that you can have some success with this too so it's pretty self-explanatory, but let me go over some of this um, in, in, a quick, in quick detail. I won't bore you for too long because I know time is very precious for everybody. Okay, it goes over finding your niche and, and discovering your why. And I'm sure if you're sitting in this seat watching it right now, you've had a good chance to think about why you're doing what you're doing. You know, why do you get up in the morning? What really makes you tick? Do you really know what it is or you're still trying to work it out? Are you really happy doing what you're doing or are you really trying to discover something that really gets you juiced, gets you excited, makes you want to actually jump up and, and work another day, right? And if you're not doing that, well, it's time to really put pen to paper and start to flesh that out a little bit. Maybe you need to do a life coaching course or if you're a life coach, maybe you need to read over your material. Um, and then really look at your niche, right? Your niche, however you want to pronounce it. You know, get in there and really tighten it up because you need to be able to market specifically to the people that need to hear your message in the way that they need to hear it. What is your niche's problem, right? You're there to solve their problem. And until you've got the right verbiage, the right message to solve their problem, you're just wasting time, right? You're just fumbling around really because no one's really going to listen to you. You're not going to be solving anyone's problem. You're getting nowhere. So this form's going to, this little booklet's going to help you really get specific with that. It's going to ask you a few more questions about your purpose and so forth. Then we get to the fun stuff. Um, I love financial, um, the financial aspect of any business building process. So if you've got Excel, time to whip out your Excel. If, you, if financial stuff scares you, I don't want you running off to your accountant because accountants are fantastic for working out your tax at the end of the year. But, you know, they're not really good for, for um, making you understand how your business works. Only you know how your business works. Only you know what marketing strategy you're going to put into play. And this is what I'm talking about. So what I want you to do, okay, so even if it's pen to paper, I want you to write down all your expenses first, right? This goes into the first little booklet I gave you, that free um, working out your pricing, your coaching pricing booklet. We're, we're talking about lifestyle. You know, how much does it cost for your food, you know, your rent, your mortgages, your kids' payments, your taxation, all of that sort of stuff, right? And then look at how much savings you're going to need. Let's look at your lifestyle and vac um, vacations. Let's get all of that written down, right? Let, then let's look at your business. How much does your business cost? Um, how much is it going to cost for you to promote this business? Get all of these expenses written down. There's no use turning a blind eye and pretending that it doesn't exist because all these expenses do exist, right? If you don't know how much it's going to cost to do a social media campaign, look it up. Don't just think about it's going to cost something, 
do the research, find out how much it's going to cost and write it down. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I want you to have a budget for this, right? And maybe you can't afford it in the first quarter in your first 90 days, but perhaps you can afford it in your third 90 days, right? Maybe you can afford it in your second 90 days, but you're going to have to afford it somewhere if you want to grow uh, your business. Okay. So if this is all too confusing right now, okay, don't just say, oh, too bad, we'll just leave it out, right? Because you just can't leave this stuff out. Just do whatever you can, right? Let's just put something in there, right? Just do some research. That's why we've got a 90-day plan. It's a booklet printed out, right? So, um, and so when we're looking at uh, uh, costs of social media, some strategies, whatever your business building stuff is, maybe it's, um, you're going to have some, um, uh, a, let's think about a, an event, right? You're going to have a workshop. How much does it cost to print out the booklets? Maybe to buy some food, maybe to hire the room. Write all of this stuff down because it's all hard costs, right? And then maybe how many times do you do this? Do you do this once a year? Do you do it several times a year? So do you see what I mean? You're actually getting real with planning out your business. This is what I'd like for you to do. And once you're starting to get real and planning out hard costs, then your business is starting to get, um, it's, it's a real cash flow report, right? It's, 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 it's coming alive. It's really starting to come alive. So we're planning out events, right? We're making it all look real, right? We're looking at your funnel from last week. We're looking at how you're getting prospects into the funnel, how much that's going to cost. Then we're looking at, okay, how much does it cost to maintain those prospects? Okay, and then it's like, how much does it cost to actually, to really nurture and, and get those um, clients into other programs? So there's different ends of that funnel. But this is what it really takes to run a business. And this is what I want you to start thinking about in that 90-day plan. Now, maybe you're really... Um, it's earlier on for, for you in this business, maybe you're 100% focused on just generating leads. So everything that you're doing is at the top end of that funnel, right? It's just all lead generation. So maybe all your plan is right now is just lead generation stuff. So it's all about blogging and social networking and all that sort of good stuff. So, um, you know, if you were in the 90 in our program, you'd be learning all of that type of um, those activities. But you can research it yourself what you need to be doing for lead generation and, and get a little plan together. And there's some room at the end of that um, booklet for you to write down your strategies for that. If you're a little bit more um, seasoned in your business, if you've been going at this for a while and you've got the full funnel in operation, then you should have a little strategy or plan for each end of that funnel. And if you don't, it's probably why your business is a little bit weak right now. So um, it's a chance for you to really get a strategy for each end of that funnel, right? You should be having a, a, lead, generation, a lead generator. You should be having something that's really um, pushing your clients right into buying or upselling services. You should be having something for your um, existing clients to be motivated to keep doing business with you and referring um, uh, or coming on to larger end uh, products or services. So look at your funnel, look at where you can grow your business and expand your business. And also with that booklet, we've got a commitment where you can sign off and commit to that 90 day plan. So that's a fantastic um, time and opportunity for you to actually get a commitment buddy. Um, that's where you can actually get someone else, maybe another coach or someone that's in the same si similar situation to you. Give them this booklet as well. And maybe you, over morning coffee once a week, you can talk about, you know, where you are in your business. You know, did you stick to your plan last week? Where did you fall off the track? What do you need to do this week to meet your, um, uh, you know, marketing plan? Um, how many sales calls do you need to make? So it's like a little accountability buddy that you really, um, as a small business owner, you don't have that generally. So this is a great opportunity for you to have this little buddy to hold you accountable. So 
I hope you enjoy this plan. Get back to me and tell me what you think of it. And um, I hope you get a lot out of it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Business down to a relationship coaching business because I know um, our infidelity recovery coaches are doing fantastic with this business model. So um, uh, I really hope that you can have some success with this too. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but let me go over some of this um, in, in, a quick, in quick detail. I won't bore you for too long because I know time is very precious for everybody. Okay, it goes over finding your niche and, and discovering your why. And I'm sure if you're sitting in this seat watching it right now, you've had a good chance to think about however you want to pronounce it. You know, get in there and really tighten it up because you need to be able to market specifically to the people that need to hear your message in the way that they need to hear it. What is your niche's problem, right? You're there to solve their problem. And until you've got the right verbiage, the right message to solve their problem, you're just wasting time, right? You're just fumbling around really because no one's really going to listen to you. You're not going to be solving anyone's problem. You're getting why you're doing what you're doing. You know, why do you get up in the morning? What really makes you tick? Do you really know what it is or you're still trying to work it out? Are you really happy doing what you're doing or are you really trying to discover something that really gets you juiced, gets you excited, makes you want to actually jump up and, and work another day, right? And if you're not doing that, well, it's time to really put pen to paper and start to flesh that out a little bit. Maybe you need to do a life coaching course or if you're a life coach, maybe you need to read over your material. Um, and then really look at your niche, right? Your niche, have a work booklet to that. So you guys that have had the chance to look at last week's video and, and prepare a, a little funnel, you've got a chance to actually now put that into a 90 day plan and start getting some leverage, start getting some momentum with these ideas that you have and, and really start getting your coaching business moving into a new level. So it doesn't matter what business, that coaching business you have, you know, you can have anything from a business coaching model to a, um, a life coaching business, you know, everything from a therapeutic business. Well, welcome back guys. I'm so glad that you're enjoying these series of little tidbits on how you can help your business grow and I'm really happy that um, you're getting a lot out of this. So I'm going to be offering you the 90 day plan. So what's a 90 day plan? Well, that is the same 90 day plan that we give the students that go through the uh, six figure coaching business program and also the uh, infidelity recovery program, certification program. And we're going to offer you the 